how to copy an angle using a safety compass. First, have an angle. Next, go ahead and use your safety compass and create a ray that will act as one of the sides for your angle. Right here, I've created basically one of the sides for my angle. Next, we have to figure out how big this gap is so that we can recreate it down here. The first move, go ahead and line up the brass ring on your safety compass with the vertex, or the corner here, of your angle. Then, make an arc all the way through your angle using any mark along the compass that you would like. I'm going to use this one right here next to a bold line. That way I can keep track of which one I use. Next, go ahead and come down to your new ray and recreate that movement using the same hole. Come down here. Again, same hole, same line for me. I have recreated that arc down here. Might look a little bit bigger, but that's because I went a little bit further around. Now, to figure out how big this gap is, use your safety compass, line up one of those points where it crisscrossed, come over here and line up the other point that crisscrosses. Looks like I might end up using the white inside part. Yep, right there. The very outside edge. Come down here, recreate the movement. Brass ring on the part that hits, just like I did up there. Again, use whichever hole that you used. For me, it was in here. For you guys, it might have been out here or somewhere. Right, like that. So far, our two arcs are exactly the same. Which means, if I connect the vertex through that point, just like it is up here, I'll have recreated that exact same angle right down here. So go ahead and do that. Connect the vertex with the point where our two arcs intersected. And this angle is exactly the same as that. And that's how you copy an angle.